Do you have a camper trailer or caravan that has gas bottle holders but no gas line or even a bayonet? Well that's a real pain in the, let's say it's a pain point when you're camping. Here at Beautiful Plumbing we try and get rid of all the pain points out of our customers lives whether it's at their own home or even out camping in the bush. And this is a little case study where we deleted some pain points for a customer. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Look, I really enjoy camping with my kids. But to be perfectly honest, it's not that relaxing, is it? You know, you're either setting up camp, keeping them warm, washing sand out of their eyes, putting their pajamas on, feeding them, but end of the day, it's worth it because they absolutely love it. So a while back, I camped next to a guy named Mark who had this sweet camper that had two bunk beds either side and a queen bed. So that means you could comfortably sleep six people off the ground on a very small footprint. Yeah, so I got talking to Mark about his camper. It's Aussie made, made right here in WA, built super tough and awesome quality. But one thing I didn't notice about it, when he had to cook on the stove, he had to go get his gas bottles from the front of the camper, which once set up, is underneath the main bed and pull them out and then bring them up over here and then connect them, connect the hose with a spanner to the hot plate so we could start cooking. I said, Mark, really? All you need is a gas line run to the rear of your camper here with a bayonet and you can just plug it straight in and then you can leave the gas bottles in the gas bottle holders because that's what they're there for. And Mark said, oh, that'd be great. He goes, would you like to do it for me? I said, ah, oh, sure. Installing gas on camper trailers or caravans is not that easy. You've got these very important regulations that you've got to try to get your head around. Um, also, you, most of the time you're working in very tight spaces underneath the camper, but we like a challenge and we love removing pain points from our customers' lives. So after chatting to Mark around the campfire that night, he came up with a brief for me. First of all, he'd love those gas bottles to stay in their holders the whole time. Second of all, he'd love his hot plate to be connected really easily without the use of tools and possibly his baby Weber Q. And also, this is another one, there's a lot of um, instantaneous hot water systems on the market. He would love one of those to be sort of retrofitted so he could have hot water coming out of the tap on his sink. So after many hours of going through different options in my head, this is what I came up with. First of all, I installed a stainless steel mounting plate so that the gas regulator could be installed at the front of the camper trailer. Also, I installed a pigtail that you can connect long enough to connect both bottles without having to move them. So secondly, I ran a gas line all the way underneath the camper and connected it up to two gas bayonets. Now many years ago, I worked as a plumber in Holland for a company called Hasten Shipyards. Now they build luxury aluminium super yachts. Now it was there, um, I got shown how to do a bit of TIG welding because sometimes I had to make up brackets to support pipes where there weren't any. So on this camper, I made up a, a stone guard and a little housing for the gas bayonets just to protect them you know, from stones hitting them, but most of all just branches smashing against them and, and taking them out. I also knocked up a pole that supports the hot water system that you can store under the step while you're traveling. I also upgraded the pump too, went from a 3.8 litre to a 6 litre a minute so the hot water system could run efficiently. I then installed a, uh, a cold supply line and a hot outlet line on the side of the kitchen to, you know, for the new hot water system and I've also used quick connect fittings so you can easily connect and disconnect so to make it easy without tools. Then I installed matching gas quick connect couplings on all his gas appliances. I know this is a bit matchy matchy but the reason I did that is when I you know, made up these hoses for the, to hook into the bayonet, any one of these hoses now can hook onto his hot water system, baby Weber Q, or even his hot plate without the use of tools. So now the hot water system. Uh, we chose the Julka hot tap mainly because of its two year warranty. Now these need to be mounted near the kitchen sink um, so not to waste too much water and also you can also keep an eye on what's happening and the, the temperature that's coming out of the hot water system. So after all that, I was done. Now Mark was kind enough to let me and my family take it down south for a sneaky trip to Pemberton, you know, a bit of research and development, try it all out. I'll tell you, it is an amazing setup. Um, would you guys like to see it all, how it works and I'll give you the run through? Of course you would. So just say you feel like a cup of tea, so you pull over the side of the road, you open up your kitchen, you just grab the, uh, your gas hose, grab the bayonet end, okay, and you go underneath the camper there and find your uh, bayonets. So all you gotta do is just remove that gas, the, um, the dust plug, and plug your gas bayonet in. All right, line up the little lugs, push it in, give it a twist, 
lock it in there. Now when the hose is connected to the gas bayonet, no gas is gonna come out of this fitting here, even with this, this is just a dust cap anyway. So there's a stop, there's a stop valve in there, so it's very safe. So all you need to do then is bring it over towards your um, stove, smooth the dust cap, and clip it on. And now, you're cooking with gas. Okay, so what if you feel like cooking some sausages for the kids? Well, that's easy. You either get your second gas hose out, but if you're done with using the hot plate, all you do is reach over, disconnect it from the hot plate, because it's a quick, you know, quick release fitting. Take the dust cap off, okay, on your barbecue. Line it up, clip it on, and now you're ready to start cooking sausages for the kids. Now, that's a whole hell of a lot easier than, uh, you know, pulling out bottles, isn't it? Okay, so how does this hot water system hook up? I'm glad you asked. All you need to do is grab the pole from, that is stored under the back step while traveling. You grab, grab the pole mate up, stick it in the pole holder at the back here, all right? And then you just chuck the hot water system, hang it on that pole just like that. So then all you need to do is grab your, this is the hot supply line to the kitchen sink. So you just hook that into the hot side of the hot water system here and plug it into the hot, quick connect on the uh, kitchen side here. Same thing for the cold. You hook the cold onto the bottom of the hot water system here. Now if the pump's on, it'll automatically start charging. Okay, so this is, if this is live at the moment, you'll plug it in and the water will start pumping and stop because the, you know, the tap on the kitchen sink is, is stopped. So it'll just sit there. Just grab the second gas hose, remove the dust plug, put your bayonet, line up your lugs, stick your bayonet in and hook it in. Remove the dust cover from the hot water system and then connect the, connect the gas up to it like that. So now when you turn the hot tap on at the kitchen sink, the hot water system will fire up. Within five seconds, you'll have hot water at your sink ready to go to wash your dishes. Thing is, what if your kids need a shower? How's that gonna work? I'll show you now. Okay, so you'd like to have a shower using the water from your tank. That's really easy. All you need to do is, best thing is to switch the, the, the pump off by the, by the switch here, okay? Remove the, the hot feed, okay? Which, that, you know, supplies the, the, the tap, the kitchen sink tap. Just take that out, okay? Because we don't need that anymore. Now you plug your, your shower lead, which is about a five meter hose. Click that onto the bottom of the Julka hot water system and then just turn the, um, the switch back on and that'll start charging through. Now, the shower has an on off up the top here by rotating it. So as soon as you turn it to on, the hot water system fires up and you'll have hot water coming out of your hose. And you can adjust the temperature by adjusting the flow and the gas on, on the hot water system. And there's a little readout just over here that tells you what temperature that the hot water is running at for you or your kids. So if you're camping for a few days and you're using the water in your tank for showering, well, you run out of water pretty quickly. So it's probably better just to leave the water in the tank for drinking and, um, you know, and cooking. So now this is where we stepped it up to a new level. We've got a pump that rides in the camper now, okay? Now this has a uh, cigarette plug or jumper lead uh, attachment, so you can put that onto a battery or whatever. That plugs, I usually just plug it into the side of the kitchen over here. Okay, that's got about a 10 meter cord on it. Now you can throw this end, it's got a filter on it. You can throw that in, in, the, in your dam water or the creek if you're lucky enough to be camping close by, hook it onto your pump, and then when you turn the, sh and then the, from the pump, you hook it into your hot water system, and then you can use the water source close by. Now, if you're not, you know, uh, camping too far away from a creek or something, just take your jerry can down to the creek, fill it up, and then come back to camp, and then all you need to do is grab your jerry cran, with the uh, creek water in it, take the top off, grab the hose, okay, with the filter on the end of it, you chuck that in there, that'll collect, you know, stop any stuff going into your pump, okay? You just plug it into the in of the pump, you grab your other hose, come to the out of the pump, clip it on the out, then you just also, you know, turn the switch off your, uh, for, for your pump on your camper, you just undo your hose, your, your supply line that that you are using for water from the tank. You clip that on the bottom of the hot water system, okay? And now, you just turn your pump on, you grab your shower, wherever it is, back here. Grab your shower, make sure you turn your rocker switch on and your pump. Okay, switch that on. That start firing up now, and start sucking water from the, um, from the jerry can 
and start bringing it out here. You can see we'll start cranking up. Hot water system will start lighting up using the gas from the front of the hot water system and you can shower away once it gets all the air out, okay? Then you'll know as soon as that's full you can go down to your creek, fill it up again and shower away and then you're saving all that you know, filtered water if you, if you do have filtered water in your tank for drinking and cooking and staying alive out there. So I hope that all made sense. So I think we came with a good solution for Mark and his family so he can enjoy his holiday adventures just a little bit more. So what do you reckon? We'd love to get your thoughts and criticisms. So we've got a really big workshop. So if you need a um, gas line installed or a gas bayonet or need your, your campus you know, certified gas wise or there might be a gas leak or even if you want one of these hot water systems installed in your caravan or, or camper trailer, give Beautiful Plumbing a call and we'd be happy to help you out. Hey, thanks for watching.